Hello, how are we? I'm Colin and welcome back to the perfect man makeup. I'm Colin, I'm trying to find the perfect man makeup if you don't already know, if you haven't seen my previous videos. And today we're gonna try a drugstore product. So today we're going to try the Fit Me, what is this? The Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder Foundation. So yeah, I mean, this looks good, right? Like. It's cheaper, I think it's like seven or eight bucks. Do not quote me on that, but um, so yeah, so I got the shade, let's see, 312 Golden. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what she looks like. Oh my God, trying to get this safety seal off or cut. Uh, I about cut my fingers off, so there's that. So just, you know, my dog's down here. He's probably gonna jump off of the couch behind me. <laughs> That's fine. So anyway, so let's open it up. So this is what it looks like. And I don't know, I'm hoping this is my color right now. I picked this one to try out because I feel like this is kind of my skin tone right now. So it does come with this sponge applicator. I hate these sponge applicators because it they like apply it too heavy. We're not trying to look heavy. We're not trying to look cakey here, cakey, okay? Uh, it comes with a mirror, so that's kind of nice. Uh, I almost wish they would just do the powder and nothing else. Um, here's my dog. <laughs> He's making an appearance. Come on. Get under the blanket. Okay, so the dog is now, I've covered him up under the blanket behind me. So if you see something moving, it's not a ghost. <laughs> so anyway, so I almost wish that they would just put in the powder instead of like this huge component, but whatever. Anyway, we're gonna move on. We're gonna apply it to the face and he's distracting me now. <laughs> we're gonna move on. We're gonna apply it to the face and we are going to do check-ins throughout the day to see how it wears, see how I like it, see how, now I don't have much to compare this to. This is like full disclaimer because I'm kind of starting out on this journey, but uh, the only other one that I've been trying is the Fenty, uh, Fenty powder, which I really do like. I really do like this powder. Um, makes my skin looks nice, all that kind of stuff, but we're searching for the perfect powder, right? And it's probably gonna change throughout the year, whatever. So anyway, we're gonna apply this, let's do it. Let's go ahead and swatch this. It seems very <laughs> opaque. I'm not flipping you off, but um, so yeah, that's a little scary. Uh, I've just, so I just uh, toned my face, Moisturize my face. I put the the Tatcha Silk Primer on. Still been using this, and then the Fenty Brightening Concealer. So I just did those two things. So we're just gonna take this on my big fluffy Morphe G7, which I don't think they sell anymore. Oh, it is powdery. I don't know if you can see that it's kicking up a lot of powder. And yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I guess we're just gonna go in and see. So. You know, I like to start on the eyes and kind of set the concealer and then work around the face. I feel like this might be my shade. You know, it might do a little bit more. Definitely I'm tapping off the excess because it is so powdery. The Fenty one is is a lot creamier, and I think that's why it gets caked in the pan, because it is creamy. I'm learning what I like and what I don't like. Let me just take a look here and see. So, okay, so it's not really hiding any pores, because this does say it's matte and poreless for normal to oily skin. So, anyway, it's not really hiding any of my pores. Um, I do feel like my skin is more even. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to take a little bit more and try to cover up. Like up here, I have some acne scarring. Uh, upon first application, I am not in love with this. So it's very powdery. Um, it's not very creamy. It didn't really help hide my pores. And I would say that it's very like minimal 
evenness, minimal coverage. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we have applied it on the face. So I will take you throughout my day. I'm getting ready for work. I have some showings. I'll be at the office. So I'll take you throughout my day. We'll see if it like melts into the skin and like does something crazy, but I don't know if I'm loving it firsthand. See, what is this claim? It says for normal oily skin, natural poreless looking finish up to 12 hour wear, long lasting shine control. That's all it says. So anyway, I'm done talking. Let's see what it does. And maybe I'll come back tomorrow to do like half and half face so we can get a better feeling for it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so we're in the car. This is the true test. And I can already tell that I do not like this. I'm looking in the, the mirror, the flip down mirror, the tell all mirror, and it just looks, I mean, it just looks, it's not sitting well with that primer. It looks like I'm wearing makeup, <laughs> which I don't want. So we're gonna try to remedy this and we're gonna do a little just translucent powder, the Fenty Invisiblot, whatever, Universal Invisimat powder. So let's just go ahead and try to mattify this and see if we can make it look a little bit less makeup y. Because this might take it down just a little bit. So now let's take a look. It feel, I feel like it definitely looks a little less makeup-y right now. Um, so maybe we fixed it a little bit. We'll see if this helped. We'll check in, but I mean, honestly, straight up front, like you don't wanna do the powder foundation and then do like a, a, like a uh, translucent powder after. So I don't really know what the point would be, but we'll, we'll see how it holds up with the extra layer of invisible powder. Check in a little bit. All right, it's been about four hours. I'm showing a house right now and uh, I'm just in the bathroom and I'm looking in the mirror and I just don't like the way my skin looks. Now it's like my oils. So the, the Fenty powder that I use, the Fenty Invisimat, Invisiblot, whatever powder, made me really mad. <laughs> and now I have like dry patches. I'm just looking in the mirror. I have like dry patches right here and then I'm like oily here and I just do not like the way that my skin is looking today. This is not going well. Anyway, results right now, not great. Not loving it at all. No. No. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. We are back. I've chopped off all my hair. It's been several days later. You know when you go to the barber my barber does an amazing job on my fade, but I'm like just a little bit of a trim, <clears throat> excuse me, just a little bit of a trim off the top and then I end up partially bald. But whatever, we love the fade. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine, everybody's fine. Uh, today we are continuing the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Pressed Powder Foundation. The first go around was not good with the Tatcha primer. So today we're gonna try it out with, uh, my dog is walking around if you hear clicking and clacketing and he's most definitely gonna jump up on this couch here behind me. So you'll get to see him in just a second, but he's walking around looking at God knows what. But anyway, today we're going to try it with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Primer with sunscreen. I, in my previous video, I tried this out and I really liked it with the powder foundation. And so, here goes my dye. So we're gonna do this. And then also over the weekend, I did the Ulta Mattifying Face Primer Oil-Free Controls and Blurs Pores. I've used this before, never really with makeup, just on its own. And I kind of liked it. It's kind of a cheaper version of the Smashbox Primer. But I wanted to try it this weekend because I was going out and I wanted to be matte and it's hot, it's summer. So I tried it out and it was really, really good. So I'm gonna use these two together and uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and apply it to the face and then we'll start our day and see, see if we can make this work. I am committed to this, I wanna make it work or at least give it a fair shot. So anyway, let's, uh, let's jump into it.
Okay, so we're gonna stop here for a second because I haven't done a side-by-side -side yet. So I wanna show you, so this is half of my face done. So let's just look um, up close. So here's the unside done, just primed, and then the done side. So as you can see, more matte, uh, more unified for sure. It's kind of covering blemishes. So this is why I like powder foundation because it's like, it's just a little bit of coverage, like a wash of coverage, but then it just makes you look more refined and more better, <laughs> more better. It looks you look, look, look a little bit better. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the face and yeah, we'll finish it up. Okay, we have it applied. It's all applied. Uh, just on initial reactions of looking, I just, I'm, I'm not digging it first applied. I know I did it the first time. Um, yeah, I just, it's not giving much coverage. I think that the primers are doing more than the actual powder foundation. I just, we're trying it again. We're trying it, we're giving it our best right now. So anyway, I'm gonna finish getting ready. We'll do a car check-in before I leave and then we will just carry on through the day and see what happens. So see you in a bit. All right, here's our natural light check-in and uh, I don't like it. As you can see it on my nose, like it's just kind of collecting a little bit on my nose. It looks like you, I mean, you can see it, but at the same time, it's such light coverage, like it's not covering up anything, but you can see it. I'm not vibing on this, but we'll keep going and <laughs> we'll see. But definitely um, not my favorite. Okay, so I'm at the office. We're doing a check-in. It's definitely warmed up to my skin. It's gotten a little bit creamier, which is nice. Uh, so it looks a little bit better, but I just don't think I'm into this. Let's try to do a quick touch-up and see how it layers really quick. Let's look in the mirror and see. It layers nicely. Yeah, see that extra layer on top of it? Now that it's gotten a little bit creamier and I put that extra layer on top, like it actually has some decent coverage. I just feel like this is just too much. Like I'm just like, I can't, I gotta figure out a primer to go with it that works well with it. I have to find, you know, I have to, it doesn't look good on first application. I gotta let my skin warm up and then do a reapply. Like it's just, it's just not working out for me. It's not, it's this, this is a pass. I'm sorry, Maybelline Fit Me powder is a pass. So anyway, this is a bummer that it didn't work out, but hit that subscribe button to follow my journey to find the perfect man makeup. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me and I will check you on the next one and hopefully it goes better than this one. <laughs> All right, thanks guys, bye.